Hi, I'm Mark Reagan, Director of Music at Christ Church here in Moscow, Idaho. And this video today is a first in a series of videos that is designed to explain a few things about what you're seeing when you look at a psalm or hymn, the Cantus Christi or another hymnal. And so what I'll be discussing today is two categories of, of music, which are pitch and rhythm. So I'll explain those each in turn before getting into how they look on the page. When we talk about pitch, we're talking about sounds that are high or low, or how we experience or perceive sounds to be high or low. Without a variety of pitches, we would have melodies that are very bland and flat and boring, but we like our songs to have a variety of pitches, at least a few different pitches in them to make a melody interesting. Also, when we're talking about pitch in terms of congregational singing or in choral singing, we talk about pitch ranges. So the soprano voice occupies a higher range of pitches than, say, the alto voice, which is a lower set. Soprano is higher women's voices, higher children's voices, whereas alto, lower women's voices, lower children's voices. We have the same thing in the men's voices. So tenor are the higher voices singing higher pitches than the bass, which are singing lower pitches. One reason that we would be concerned about pitch in music is that without actually a variety of pitches at our disposal, our melodies would be quite bland and boring, very, very, very flat. So we do enjoy a variety of pitches when we sing our songs. The other category that I wanted to talk about is rhythm. And we'll get into this into the next video a little bit when it comes to rhythmic notation. But when we talk about rhythm, what we mean is the duration of sound, how much time it takes for a sound to occur, as well as the relationship of different durations or a, a string of different sounds, which can be short, long, uh, in, in a variety of of configurations. Rhythm also has to do with silences though too. So we have often in, in music where you, you'll see a place where there's a, there's a, a rest that's, that's given and the rest just stands for a, a set duration of silence uh, that has to be followed for it to coordinate with, uh, with the rest of the musical activity in the song. So, in the next video, I'm going to explain a little bit about how rhythm is notated. Stay tuned for that.